Hello everyone and welcome back to Everyday Glamming. I know all of you are like, where have you been? I have not uploaded a video since May 21st. So I have been gone for a little over two months, a little few days over two months, but I've been gone for two months from YouTube. I have not uploaded a video. I have not worked on any videos in the last two months. So it is july 24th today so i'm hoping that i can get this video uh, uploaded and on my channel within the next two days edit it up on my channel within the next two days because i'm really at a point now where i'm ready to start back my channel and get back pushing with my content i have tons of content that i've already recorded that i have not edited yet and i didn't get to it but i just needed that break from it all so I'm here today to just kind of give you a little bit of feedback on what's been going on, why I stepped back from YouTube, why I stepped back from um, so many of my like social media blog type posts and why I kind of stepped back from, you know, my side hustle social media. So I'm going to just get started with telling you a little bit what's going on. So if you want to hear what's been going on and why I kind of took a step back, stick around. All right, guys, so as my title says, I lost my job of almost 11 years. Yeah, I know, devastating. Um, at my age, I am 32 years old, so I had been working for the company since I was um, uh, probably a senior and a uh, junior in college, actually. And Mackenzie's here. Say, hey, Mackenzie. Hi. Ask everybody, how are they doing? How you doing? <laughs> this is my baby girl, Mackenzie. Mackenzie, mommy hasn't recorded in a long time, has she? Uh huh. Have I recorded in a long time? Uh -huh. It's been a long time. Say, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. Say it. Say, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. Hey, she's got sunscreen on her face, by the way. So that's why her face Father, is that like color. Father, am I? Ah. Uh, <laughs> Well, to get back to my, my story, my eyebrows are going to be, and um, your eyebrows are going to be what? Something and gonna be eyes and gold. Oh, and, and shiny. Oh, that sounds pretty, <coughs> doesn't it? Go get your makeup in your playroom. Um, it gonna be, it gonna be signs in the box. Slow down, slow down and talk. Uh, nothing, and I'm gonna be. Okay, go get your makeup. So, to get back where I was. She is so silly. She's talking so fast you can't understand her. So, as I was saying, I, w I have been in my job for almost 11 years in a human resources role, which that is my career path. So, I've been there for almost 11 years, and the company had always had financial difficulties. But it was a small company, very intimate, felt very comfortable with the schedule, with the people I worked with. So, I stayed there. So, of course, it was a comfort thing. So, when I tell you that God has a way of taking you out of your comfort zone, he definitely does. So I knew that it would be some point where I would be done at that company. So when I tell you that God has a way of taking you out of your comfort zone when he's ready to do that, he definitely does. Um, probably a year prior to me losing my job, the company laid off a good amount of employees. So I knew that, you know, it was serious business, but I still chose to stay. Um, because of financial reasons, um, because of comfort, and it just worked with my schedule. It worked with Kenny's schedule. It worked with Mackenzie's schedule. It was just flexible. It was just like good for my life at that point. But God knew that I needed something more challenging. He knew that I needed to do something different, and he knew that it was a comfort zone for me. I was not growing. I was not developing. I was pretty much going to work and doing my task and then leaving. Nothing was being poured into me. So, you know... <sighs> Somebody says, oh my goodness, you you know, I, I didn't have a huge savings and you're about to lose your job. Like, are you not freaking out? Heck yeah, I was freaking out. But you know what? I knew two things. I knew that God has always provided for me and will always provide for me. And two, I knew that it was time. I knew that it was a, 
opportunity for me to finally get out of my comfort zone and find something new. Was I scared? Yes, because I knew that there were there are a lot of things that I don't know yet, but um, I knew the basics. So I know that there's still a lot of things that I need to develop professionally and in my area of um, career. So that was a big thing for me. So when I tell you that God puts you in a place where you're supposed to be, he put me in a place where I'm supposed to be. So um, one of the reasons I kind of took a break is I really needed to focus on finding a job. My job ended on um, around the last day I um, uploaded a video. So my job ended, so I needed to really focus on finding a job. Um, so that's what I was doing, focusing on finding a job. Um, probably it took me... <laughs> Honestly, less than a month to be contacted for a job. When I tell you that I applied to over 75 jobs, I applied to over 75 jobs. Did a couple phone interviews, did a couple in-person interviews, but nothing that made me just feel like warm and fuzzy to where I'm like, I want this. On June... 11th I was supposed to do an interview and it ended up getting canceled the people were busy so they didn't conduct the interview and I was like oh, god like I was already nervous and I'm just like you know what maybe this wasn't meant to be so I had another opportunity in play and I was just like maybe this is where God wants me and so they rescheduled it for June 18th I went um no probably like the the 12th I believe so I did the phone interview on June 12th the lady was like you know we really um, think you'd be a good fit da 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 I want you to come in for in face to face I go in for a face to face interview immediately when I see this lady that did the phone interview with me I'm just like my fears just kind of go ha oh, and my heart just go bottom 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 and it was just like I don't want to say love at first sight but it was really like at first sight so I spoke with her, I spoke to the, um, she was the associate director, I spoke with the director of HR, and both of them just like, they just gave me a good feel. And when I said that I needed to be developing and had more things that I wanted to work on in my career, they have given me that opportunity, and that was one of the, um, selling point of the opportunity is that it would be an excellent opportunity for me to learn and develop, and I'm getting to do that. So I'm just like overjoyed and excited and I know that God put me there to continue my career and just to have that experience with them. It's just such initial, you know, support from them for someone that's new and someone that does need additional developing because they could have brought someone in that has, um, you know, 20, 30 years of human resources experience and just ready to jump in. But they were okay with me having areas of my strength that I could already jump in and areas that I still needed to develop in. So that's a big part of why I have been ghost. Number two, my grandmother passed away. My grandma lived to be 102. So Huge blessing to our family, praying woman, just always positive, just a good hearted person, well known in her community and well respected and you know, she passed away on June 4th. So that was just like a huge kind of like re like, you know, life, you know, you gotta, you gotta really enjoy life. You gotta really respect life. You gotta really just take your time and love on those people that you love. So that and just just enjoying life, just taking a step back to enjoy my family during my time off. So I did have a total of like a month off. I started my new job on June 25th. Look at God. And so I had a chance to go to the beach with my family for a week. I had a chance to go camping with my family. Um, I had the opportunity to go on a girls trip with my girls. Just like just enjoying life. Just having some downtime to just do the things I wanted to do. I worked on a flower bed in our yard. Uh, just just enjoying life. So I say all this to say that I've been gone for a minute, but I'm big. <laughs> no, nah, but take your time and step back and enjoy life sometimes. Don't be so dependent on, you know, those things that really don't matter. The people matter. Um, your, your, Yourself, developing yourself matters. Just like those things are really important. I feel like especially as content creators we get so caught up in dang i haven't uploaded a video dang what should i post dang people are you know i'm losing followers that's great and i mean if that's your money maker fine but it's not my money maker it's just something i do because i enjoy it and it's fun to me so i knew that you know i needed to focus on other things that were important in my life and so that's what i did i took a step back regathered myself and just focused on that 
And shout out to all of my clients um, who let me do their crochet braids. Crochets by Stacy. Follow that page on Instagram. Crochets by Stacy. And I'm just thankful for you guys because during my time out of work, that was definitely a huge help in keeping those bills paid. Thank you guys. I appreciate you and I love you. And so right now I'm trying to get a plan in place to get back going with things and get back in the rhythm of implementing this into my life. So I'm happy to be back. I hope you're happy to see me and I will be posting new videos soon. So stay tuned and thank you guys for always providing positive feedback on my videos and just making me feel like this is something that you appreciate me doing. If you have any questions or want to know anything or want to just kind of get a feel for, I guess, how to step back and really enjoy life, let me know. Comment below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because, of course, you guys are what make me want to keep doing this. And again, thank you. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.